Yo, have y'all seen Britney Renner? Yo, Britney Renner, I love you, girl. And you know, we friends. I do call Britney Renner my friend. But Britney Renner done threw away all her thongs, all her, like, you know, assless jeans. She done threw away all the crop top that you could see see through with, you could see her nipples. And now she done gone Muslim, people. This is what I call, chat, the whole redemption arc. And I love Britney. But anytime you see a whole fine God, she either caught an incurable STD. She either motherfucking um, realized her time is up or she got too many baby daddies and she trying to look innocent. These Or she coming from the strip club. That's another one, too. Bitches from the strip club. Like, I don't know what they see when they upside down on that pole, but when they ready to leave that shit and get married to a regular nigga, they found God. Okay, niggas been stick, sticking half their fists inside of uh, uh, dollar bills. Everything is all good. They be necking niggas up, up and down in that goddamn strip club. But when they ready to come out and they ready to cleanse themselves of all the bodies and filth, they come out mad religious. And I'm not talking about just kind of religious mad religious like yo they they start walking around with a bible you get what i'm saying like you're like god damn it like i know you're religious but you got to bring the bible around yes she's she, she's muslim now whatever nigga she got to show this is a spectacle i'm just throwing away all my whole shit all i'm gonna be wearing is burkers and all this all this other shit right here look at this shit she says wardrobe update i'm gonna enjoy every uh, moment of this walk of mine what is what? First of all, hi. So I'm currently. Now, I love Britney Renner, but Britney Renner got famous for talking about fucking niggas. And when she was in the car, basically telling, she said, it's a single baby mama summer. That's what she said. No, it's a step. It was like a stepdaddy season. She was in the car giving bitches tutorials on how to suck cock. Now she's over here. She probably got the Quran. In her left hand while she records this video. Cleaning house. Out with the old and with the new. Manifesting a new wardrobe. Inshallah. I have no idea how this is going to look. I have contractual obligations. Yo. You know what's so crazy? I, I guarantee. Yo. Yo. In a, in, in a whole. Listen. This is a whole redemption arc. Trust me. And I, Brittany, I love you. I know you're going to see this. I guarantee you still don't see that ass poking out under all them garbs. Man, man, listen, we ain't in the Middle East. She going to have that ass poking, nigga, fitted that you could see that ass sitting up like a stallion. And also, by the way, we going to go to her page. All them pictures that were thirst traps still ain't deleted. <laughs> Clothes to wear, posts to do, <laughs> bills that have to be paid. And, um. You see, this is good. Now she can justify the hoe and with oh i'm just paying the bills you know showing up the best i can right because i know that it's not going to be perfect i know that people may have a gripe I mean, my arms are out right first of all it's hot and then i sweat like a puddle under my armpits not an excuse but looking into botox under my arms and finding clothes that are more aligned with where i'm headed even if it's not to the book perfect that's what this what y'all think she headed to, y'all? Let me tell you this. This is typical whole shit right here. Fuck every rapper alive. Fuck every athlete. But now it's time to cleanse yourself. Brittany, let me tell you this. And Brittany, I love you, so I hate that I got to say these things about my friend. Because you're my friend. But I do have to, I'm not saying it directly really to you. But I got I to gotta help educate these other hoes. The future hoes that you've misled, I got to put these hoes back on the right path, right? This is why I got to say this shit for awareness. Brit Everybody knows a hoe. One, listen, what, what, I'm about to say some shit. When you start identifying with what I'm saying, start spamming one, all right? You, don't spam one until you start identifying black. Like, oh, yeah, I do know that. Okay, everybody knows a hoe who fucked everybody at the corner store, fucked everybody on the block, the next block, 
at, 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 at school, she fuck half the football team. She go to college, she's sucking niggas into oblivion. And all she do when she's ready to, to end that whole phase is switch the zip codes, nigga. This is exactly what's going on. This, yo, this is Britney trying to prepare her. She about to go to Dubai and get one of these sheiks to take her serious, gang. I'm serious. She fucked all She fucked all the little Uzis, all of the all of the Cam Newtons and all them niggas. Now it's time for her to be taken serious. She about to head over to Dubai, Porta Potty Land, get a nice wet turd just sat on her back, and she going to get wiped up by one of these sheiks. Listen, she's done being a hoe. And it, yo, there's this one chick, man, back in my college day. Yo, this bitch was a whore. Like, like whore wasn't even the proper word for her. I remember she broke, like, she was so much of a whore. Like, nigga, she broke down to me. She was like, yo, you're my, yo, uh, she said, she said, oh, you're my eighth body this semester. I'm like, yo, bitch, you just had orientation, like, like, six weeks ago. Like, what you mean eighth? But, all right, whatever. Anyway, like, like I forgot, I, I was probably a junior, she a freshman, so I'm telling him, like, yo, listen, I'm going to keep it a bean with you, girl, like, yeah, you're a pretty chick and everything, like, but, yo, you're doing too much hoeing, and I wasn't doing some sim shit, I was telling her, because she was choosing dick over school, like, I remember one time, like, I had to, like, kick her out, like, the chick had a Friday class, and chick was just like, yo, I'm just trying to stay here and get fucked, and I'm like, yo, bitch, you know you pay to come here, right, like, this is school, go to class, so, and I remember just talking to her, like, yo, listen, I know you're having fun this and third, but, yo, you came here for education. You could do the whole shit, but you came here for education, right? This whole going to tell me, she said, you know what? I feel like none of these guys care about me. They're just using me. You're the last nigga I'm going to fuck this semester. And I'm like, it's like, it's that Drewski meme. You ever see the Drewski meme? <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> like. <clears throat> me <laughs> so so now i'm feeling guilty i'm like yo i feel guilty for all the men yo there is no worse feeling for a man than talking a hoe out of hoeing especially when you ain't gonna wife the hoe it's like damn did i fuck it up for everybody else <laughs> she's like yo you're the last nigga i'm gonna fuck this semester <laughs> me <laughs> oh my god chat Two weeks later, I link her again. Nigga, she break down crying. I swear. She breaks down. Oh, my God. You're going to be so disappointed in me. What the fuck? What's going on? What's going on? You good? She said, fuck three more people. What? <laughs> I'm like, yo, listen. Yo, sure, it's good. You keep it safe. Just whatever, whatever. I said, just make sure you go into your classes. Bro, her reputation as a whore started to build so much my nigga mid-semester she just disappear and you always know a hoe when when a hoe just disappear randomly this is the whole like this is the whole uh um th th this is when they start going through the same shit that britney renner go through she disappeared and blocked me i didn't even know she blocked me anyway i found this chick a year later in a full-blown relationship with a nigga loyal as hell, Stop wearing the same, because she used to come to my party, to be DJ. She stopped wearing those type of provocative outfits. She started dressing mad modest. She was like a relationship type. And I remember saying it to my homies, because they fucked too. I said, how much you want to bet that that nigga who wiped her up had no idea about her whole ass past? That's how it is. A whole switch, uh, a whole switch of zip codes, she ain't no hoe no more, Okay. So I think that's what uh, Brittany Renner finna do. I think this is the uh, whole rejuvenation program at its finest. Seek God. Act like the pussy has been blessed. And come back around and act like you have now found some higher calling in the sense of your whoredom does not count no more. It's all about for me as I'm just going to show up and give my best. And every day my best gets better. First of all, hi. Okay, let me go to Britney's page. See what type of fucker she on, bro. <laughs> like, Britney Renner.
Yo, you know what this remind me of, man? <laughs> you know what this remind me of? Oh, wait, Ruby Rose. She said... She posts a thirst trap, and then she says something religious about it. Your race called her out. Your race called her ass out. <laughs> Yo, your race called her ass out about this shit. That nigga violated. Look, this is what it was right here. Yo, she said, ready for Ramadan. <laughs> Yo, Shorty said she ready for Ramadan. Her profile picture is her skidding out the pussy with her, with her hand over the shit. This nigga said you bent over covering your punani in your profile pic. Talking about you ready for Ramadan. <laughs> oh hell nah bro then she then she switched up her thing she put it to this this is what this looks like bro so you guys know i shared with you how ex nah fuck with brady but brady you burned out Hi. so you guys know i shared with you how excessively i sweat in my First of all, honey, you know what I've noticed? <laughs> and any message I share for the record always applies to myself. Like, I'm not exempt just because I'm sharing it. <laughs> so, by the way, I, I do think, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to do like a podcast situation with uh, Brittany. Right? I, th I think she's a great talker. She communicates well. And, and I think she's honest. Even if you're going to clown her, laugh at her, disagree with her. She's honest, knows how to communicate. I think I think that means great podcaster. You get what I'm saying? I've noticed that we want to sign your sign. Mind you, we've been getting dreams, songs, angel numbers. That post that By the way, look look at this comment right here. It says, "Stop disrespecting my religion. Islam is not isn't a marketing strategy or a way to get in the blogs or a way to gain attention. It's a way of life and I would appreciate if you if you wouldn't disrespect the hijab." Hey, by the way, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. Y'all remember when all the red pill niggas turned Muslim for, for a second? <laughs> that was some shit. Yo, all the red pill niggas was, yo, yo, the red pill niggas was funny as hell. Am I a red pill nigga? I guess not because I did not turn Muslim. Yo, all the red pill niggas was like, yo, women belong in the kitchen. They shouldn't be able to vote. Yo, fuck these hoes. And, and they were like, nah, that's misogynistic. And then everybody was like, wait, we getting demonetized? We getting canceled? Then niggas, n niggas look for the only thing that could justify it. We Muslim. That's what it means. You know, Muslim people don't have, uh, don't liberate their women. <laughs> like, yo, that, that did kind of work. They just did it too late. You feel what I'm saying? And also all that Middle Eastern shit where like niggas, where people just dress from head to toe. That should do not work in the United States. We going to look at you. I'm sorry. That's weird. <laughs> Came across our feed that just so happened to apply to our situation. <laughs> But we want the sign to be on the billboard in big red letters lit up. With Yo, you do know that's what happened, right? <laughs> the niggas with the fuck these bitches mentality needed something to validate the fuck these bitches mentality. And and Islam, and again, I don't know too much about it, so I don't want to speak bad about none of y'all religion. But I think they got a lot of shit in there that, that, that kind of like really restrict the female and and all the red pill niggas was just like, yeah, yeah, that's what we believe in. Yeah, yeah. These niggas, these niggas don't believe in a motherfucking thing other than women shouldn't have rights. <laughs> that's all they believe in. Women shouldn't have rights. <laughs> They're like, whoa, misogynistic. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm. bruh. Nigga, you don't got to turn Muslim. Just say you don't fuck, you don't fuck with bitches being able to vote. That's what you trying to say. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? These niggas all turn Muslim, bruh. The <laughs> letter. And it's almost as if we're waiting for this moment to feel ready. You're not going to feel ready for something you've never done. That's why you have to get pushed. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I do think that she might be legit a Muslim, though. Right? Um, I, I do know she has a close uh, relationship with uh, Kevin Gates. And Kevin Gates definitely, Kevin Gates is into his shit. You know what I mean? So maybe he helped to guide her. So I'm not going to take this completely as a joke, 
However, you know what I mean? It, it, I'm, I'm, the, the funny part in, the, in this is, <laughs> nigga, the post before, before the other shit, nigga, is this, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go from here to here. <laughs> like, yo. Yo, oh, yo, shit. Yo, I know a girl who used to dress like this in college. Biggest hoe, bro. Biggest hoe. She used to go to Rutgers, Newark. I ain't even trying to snitch on her type of shit, but she used to go to Rutgers, Newark. So I went to New Brunswick. So I, I had to go to Rutgers, Newark. Nigga, I feel like I was going to the hood, nigga. I used to, nigga, I'm, I'm in Newark, nigga. I'm running every light, nigga. I'm like, this shit is, nigga, I, I knew Rutgers, Newark was some real shit, nigga. They had metal detectors before you go in the dorms. I'm like, metal detectors? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, it's like they expected niggas to have guns over there. So anyway, I'm up in there, and then this one chick, she dressed like this. And I'm like, oh, man. Like when I see somebody super religious, I like I kind of almost like, like I'm over here just like you got it, you got it. You know what I mean? Anyway, I get to drop her. They said, man, oh yeah, she sucked the most dick out here. I said, no way. She got the whole shit on her head. She had the little the what like she, yeah. They're like your bruv. They said we going to a party tonight. Wait till you see her party, nigga. She's in a party doing splits. They was playing Jamaican music. She doing splits, niggas throwing her in the air. She rocking the same clothes. I'm like. So, so I'm, at, I'm like, nigga, how should he say, yo, nigga, all that shit, she take off her head when it's time to suck some dick, man. I'm like, God damn it, man. Wouldn't she be stoned in the Middle East for that, that type of shit? I don't know. You know what I've noticed? Damn, look at this shit, man. I'm, I'm wondering what's Britney's thing, though. I, I fuck with Britney, but like Britney's too bad to have not locked down a real nigga by now, bro. Like Britney, bro. Like times are ticking, girl. Like you gotta lock down a real boss, man. Like, yo, stop giving. I don't know who you fucking or if you fucking, but stop giving the pussies to some waste, man, bro. Like, yo, you're not gonna look this good forever. Like she be working out, so she keep it up. Like you know, she keeps it really good. But bruh. Get off of this. Like, you should be doing family channels now, man. Like, come on, girl. Come on home, man. Come on home. She do, she look at this motherfucker. But this little this little arc she doing, nah, this ain't going to cut it, girl. This ain't going to cut it. I'm, I'm not feeling that. So I go, yeah, I should. Did she explain it? Ain't it some religious shit, bro? Yo, the fit check selfie with the religious outfit is bananas. Like, this is crazy. What's going on over here? So, oh, y'all say in July, her, yeah, her ass is out? Yeah, nah, she going crazy in a bit. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, man. All right. Good for her, man. Good for her. Hey, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a warn all y'all celebrities, though. When y'all get in trouble or y'all become a hoe and y'all trying to undo y'all hoism, and for all y'all red pill niggas, like after y'all done did all type of misogyny and shit and y'all wanna come back, please stop using Islam, man. Y'all know they got some extremists over there. They don't like people messing with their religion, bro. When it comes to Christianity, y'all could do whatever y'all want, man. Niggas, yo, 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 first of all, you know niggas don't care about, you know niggas don't care nothing about Christianity. Bro, rappers just casually lie to us and say on God. Like, just lie, casually. Like, like, don't even blink. <laughs> niggas just lie and just say on God. Like, well, What? <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, he might send he, he might he might he might send like a lightning bolt down here. What the fuck are you talking about? What you? Yeah, the niggas don't care. I never see no niggas say on Allah. I never seen that. Uh, is that inshallah? I don't know that. There's one word they be saying a lot. What's it called? And it's supposed to mean like I swear to God. What's that shit called? Chat, chat. What's that word called? It's like a. It's like a. Um. um <laughs> it's it's like something with like what are y'all gonna say 
It's like if you sw- if you like swearing to God, but it's like uh, it, it's it's in it's in like the the Islam stuff. Wallahi, yeah, word, wallahi. Yo, that's one of them too. Anytime you like, let me not get too deep in that. Anyway, all right. Somebody said, look at her bio. I'm like a box of chocolates, fashion over ambassador. I got to re-up on my deal with fashion over. What's good with them? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sh- shout out to Brittany Renner, man. Shout out to Brittany Renner, man. Um, I think she's lived a very interesting life, and I do wish of, the, of anything, I wish happiness for her. I wish happiness. Happiness and peace. Let me tell you this. You know what I've realized, and I'm not necessarily talking about Brittany Renner, um, because, you know, I think Brittany Renner, we just know about a lot of her bodies, but there's mad whores out here. I think being being a whore is like a traumatizing thing, especially as you age. Um, like, I, I think this goes against everything that most of these women like Sukiyana and Sexy Red are saying, that women could just sport fuck. Like, they're, they're yeah. You're supposed to sport fuck 20 niggas. I think those women end up with a lot of trauma. And as they get older, we kind of see it manifest in, you know, them constantly searching for um, happiness or even when they do find happiness, they fuck it up. So, wish the best for her. Somebody's people buying Fashion Over still? Yeah, and Fashion Over still popping? I know they got pretty little things in Sheen. Somebody going to DM me. I, I think I blocked a bit. Bitch going to DM me to him out. Lulu lemon me, please. Nigga, I don't even know what that is. I thought that bitch was asking me for some ice cream. I said, fuck out of here. I blocked a bit. Yeah, get out of here, nigga. I Googled it afterwards. Apparently, it's a clothing line. Lulu lemon me, please. I'm like, lemon ice cream. The fuck are you talking about, nigga? Like, <laughs> Lulu lemon, right? Yeah, it's like some alpha. So, Lulu lemon me, please. Like, fuck out of here. Fuck I look like. You know what I mean? <laughs> Lulu lemon me, please. Get out of here, dog. <laughs> South Dudan. He said, yo, act will talk about everybody else. Let's talk about Voscar to bleach the skin. What you mean? Oh, oh, those are yoga pants joints? <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Nigga, I thought it was talking about ice cream. Uh, word, word two. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> Somebody says fashion over as Temu quality. Yo, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it up being with you, nigga. Temu, nigga, I'm fucking with this Temu website. I'm about to buy some. Yo, anytime you want snap, yo, Temu got the best deal with Snapchat ever, nigga. If you see three snaps, there be nigga. I almost bought some shit off Temu. I don't even need. I will have no use for it in my life. But I'm gonna show you exactly what it was. I'm gonna just type it in Temu. Um. Car lift, like nigga, I swear, nigga, I almost bought one of this, nigga, nigga. There's a Temu ad, nigga, for this, and I'm like, shit, look good, like nigga. I was trying to buy it, nigga. I was trying to buy it. Let me see if I, if I can find the ad, nigga. They've been playing the ad nonstop. I don't even need it, nigga. Temu be advertising on Snapchat like it's going out of style, nigga. They'll advertise some shit, bruh. You'll be like, that is a cool accessory. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie, they good. They'll be like, yeah, that is a cool one. Well, I never thought about that one. Nigga, I got about 15 mops and buckets in my house. Nigga, they showed me some new mop. And I was like, oh, I need that mop. That's that's the, that's the mops of all mops. Bro, Temu is good, bro. Their marketing is amazing. They will get you to buy some shit you don't need, will never use, some shit you got already. This shit, they're, they're great. I'm telling you, they're great. This ain't no, this is no type of endorsement. I'm just saying, when I'm on my, listen, I'm going I'm to follow these ads real quick. I'm going to go on my Snapchat. Bruh, I kid you not, nigga. They, the way they fucking, bruh, they will convince you to buy some shit, nigga. Nigga, I almost bought a car lift. Nigga, yo, you know why, you know how I almost bought it? It showed, it showed like, it, there was like a girl, like, using the thing, and it was lifting the car. I was like, I was like, wee. I'm like, oh, it's kind of look fun. Like, you can lift your car, bring it down. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. Hold on, let me just, I'm just looking through a bunch of stories until a Temu ad pop up. It pops up quick, trust. 
Here we go. Oh, yes. Look, nigga, I was brought more a forklift. Nigga, the nigga's doing pull-ups on a forklift. Nigga, I almost bought a forklift. Look. Bruv, I'm telling you, I'm on Temu like, yo, why not get a forklift? Why not? Nigga, let me get a tool set. I need one of these. That looks cool. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Bro, I'm telling you. Tem I don't know what they do, my nigga. They are fucking good, bro. I'm going to find another ad. I'm going to find another ad. Look. Look at this one. Oh, shit. Look. It says your dorm is missing this. It's like some organizer. Nigga, I don't even live in a dorm. Nigga, I live in an 8,000 square foot house. Nigga. I'm like, that looks cool. Let me just buy it. I'm telling you, Temu is a devil, bro. Look, I'm going to find another one. I'm going to find another one. Nigga, like, I'm doing this in real time, gang. I'm doing this in real time. Look. Look at this. Nigga, it got a girl lifting a toolbox like you a mechanic, nigga. Like, like you little J. Bruv. Nigga, I'm about to buy all the tools to go change my own oil. Nigga, I got all type of wrenches. Like, nigga, I'm telling you. What, what, let me see what I could, let me, let me, um, oh. Perfect for auto repair or home use. Finally, here's the bottom layer. Hammer, tape measure, wire strip, and Allen wrenches. You name it, all in this set. And lock it to avoid rust and loss. Bruv, I need it. Must be expensive. What? Bruv! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look. Another one. Nigga, I'm watching this shit like, I guess I kind of need that. Chat, I ain't gonna lie, man. If y'all see a bunch of shit on, on Temu start popping up at my house, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, bruv. <laughs> fuck it, bruv. <laughs> Yeah, nah, Temu got me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Temu got me. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. That shit got me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Nigga, I almost bought a forklift, nigga. Nigga, nigga I was thinking, I was like, well, I guess I kind of do need a forklift. Like, I could drive it around the property and I could probably lift heavy stuff up. I could get some heavy stuff. Like, I'm telling you, this shit's crazy. All right, let me see what else is going on in.